Right, everyone, welcome back to episode number three. We're picking up from the end of last session where we finished stage three of our retrieving, and that involves putting on this little trading line that you'll see here right now. We've done the same retrieve previously where we're having the dog on our left-hand side prior to going into the retrieve. First of all, we just want to get that dog used to running out and back with that lead on. And that's where we finished last session. So we're just coming up to stage four in a moment. And that's where we're going to start to make the dog wait. So I'm going to use the lead on the next one. So we're going to throw it out. You need to have the lead in the right place. You're going to push him into a sat position. Just a little bit of pressure on the lead. Ah, see how he squats down very easily. Boy, back. I let him go a little bit early there. Just Charlie. Good boy. I'll try and do a better one on the next one. I've only literally just started doing this. Be very, very careful. Good boy, Charlie. I'm going to put the retriever on my right side to get it out of the way. I'm going to try and get him in the sat position first with the lead running down his back out the way. Now when I chuck it out, he's going to be focused on that. Sit. Sit. Good boy, back. Yeah, that was a much better one. So I was tugging, giving him slack, tugging, giving him slack. Until basically he was holding himself there in that sat position under his own steam. I'll try again. So I'm going to put the retriever on my right side. That gets it out of the way. Get that lead out of the way as well. Being a bit daft, aren't you, Charlie? That's right. Into a sat position. I'm holding the lead. A couple inches out from his neck. Throwing the retrieve out. Tug. 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 He's... He flattened down there. I just gently lifted him up. And then he was sat on a flat lead for a second or so. Good boy. Well done. I'm forgetting to praise you because I'm doing so much talking, aren't I? Let's try that again. Whoop. Put it on my right side there. I might let him have a run in on the next one to keep it nice and fun because this is quite formal and he's very soft, so I have to be gentle with him. Okay, check the retrieve out. Sit back. Yeah, that was a good one. Nice, good lad, good lad. I'm gonna let him run in on this one. Good boy, well done. Trying to keep it fun every now and then. Good lad. Lots and lots of soft plays. I can be quite sort of rough with him. A lot of the time I'm talking about being nice and calm with puppies, but because I know he's got such a good delivery, I don't need to worry too much about it. I know he holds the retrieve really well too. So retrieve on my right hand side, push him into a sat position, put the retrieve out, tug, slap, slap, ah, ah. Maybe a bit firmer this time. Slack. Good boy. Well done. Now that you're getting it on you. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. Now, I don't know if you noticed that he stuck his head between my legs. Sometimes they do that. If they were doing that all the time, I would definitely be keeping my knees together, but it's not a problem. Okay, let's go again. Man, on this side, Charlie. Good boy. In that position. Bring that lead out of the way so he can't see it. And throw the retrieve out. Back. Complete slack there. Good couple of seconds. More than happy with that. I'll push my luck a little bit more. And then that will probably do him for today. Literally, that's all the retrieving I will do today. So, on my right hand side, push him into a sat position, wriggling, tug, ah, ah, sit, back. Good boy. One more, one more. When he flattened down like that, I just gently lifted him up. He was straight into a sat position. Look at that tail going. He's a happy boy. He's a great grandson of my last champion, Malabel Ken. What a lovely action, just like his grandfather had. A lot softer than his grandfather. And I'm hoping he might be half decent. I'm just going to have to take my time with him a little bit because he is so soft there. Okay. I really want to keep those feet on the floor. Chuck that out. Hug, slack. Slack. Back. Good. Good boy. I'm going to let him run in on this next one. Ah, 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 ah. Oi. That's a bit out of character. See how I suddenly changed my voice so quickly and then I went straight to praise. And that's what you have to do. Right, let's have a, let me have a run in. That's a good one. Look at that tail going when he's running. I love a dog that runs and wags its tail at the same time. They don't all do that. It's a sign of a good one. Are you a good one? Let's hope you are. Look at that tail. One more. Flat position on my left hand side. You're getting this slowly, aren't you? Slack lead. See my hand hovering over his back. Throw that out. Tug, slack. There's plenty of slack. 
back. Charlie, Charlie. I'm going to take the slip lead off now and let him have a bit of a run out. You've been a good boy. Very pleased with that session. Well done. Hey, Charlie. Oh, the old legs are going. But that's a good little boy there. Yeah, really pleased with that. Nice progression there. I only first started making him slightly weight yesterday and he was collapsing at first, but he's not doing that now. So really, really pleased. I'm going to give him a break now and then I'm going to do a little bit of lead work with him in a little bit. And that'll do him for today. Literally, that's all I'll do. So he's 14 weeks. I'll do two or three minutes of heel work, which he's slowly getting because he is quite soft. He chucks himself on the floor very easily. And that is really, really good, isn't it? Good boy, Charlie. Well done. Come on, Charlie. Come on. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Um, I thought I'd do a little lead update. And you can see um, how well Charlie's walking now compared to the very first video that I made. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Um, it's a bit weight tonight, which I don't normally like doing lead work, but I wanted to get a bit of footage so you can see how nice he's walking. A lot of pups don't often like to walk when it's wet, and they certainly don't like to sit. Good boy. Now, before when you saw him, <clears throat> he was a bit reluctant to walk and keep up. And what I'd been doing is, which I wouldn't normally do, good Charlie, Charlie, is that I just got him doing a little bit of heel work in amongst the retrieve. And because he loved his retrieving so much, basically I was using the dummy as a bit of a carrot, like this, you see, as a bit of a carrot to keep him up with me. Most dogs normally go straight into pulling. He was the opposite. He wanted to stick behind. And so you can see here how I'm using this to get him to keep up with me. So he's walking really quite nicely now. Um, I'm surprised that he wants to sit there. He's covered in mud now. Um, but anyway, it gives you a chance to see the improvement that he's made over the last two weeks. He's now walking pretty happy. Every now and then he does chuck himself on the floor, but pretty much is walking nicely all the time now. Aren't you, Charlie? Well done. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right, so I'm going to do a little retriever session here with Charlie, and I'm going to do some heel work in between it. Because he's quite soft, I've been finding that if I just do heel work on its own, he's not so pleased on that. You right there, Charlie? Um, by the way, at the beginning, it doesn't matter what session you did last time, so how advanced you finished on your last session, at the beginning of your next session, you always want to make the early part a bit easier than what the dog can do. That way, think of it like a warm up with your puppy. So I've got my little training lead on here. I'm just gonna show it up to camera. It's a very simple, tiny three mil slip loop lead and he can retrieve with this on. It doesn't bother him in any way. Come on, Charlie. And I'm just gonna get him to retrieve with it on first to start with. So I'm just gonna pop it over. It's quite long, this one, because I want to do some heel work with it as well. So I'm just gonna tease him with this retrieve first. Get him retrieving out and back with it on. Good boy, well done. Good boy. That's a nice warm up retrieve. So now I'm gonna get him to sit on my left hand side as you will have seen me do earlier. So I'm just gonna sit him by my side. Let him see the retrieve go out, sit. Back. Good boy, well done. Good lad, good lad. So he's going on that verbal back command, which means to run away from me. So I always put the retrieve down on my right hand side. It gets rid of it at the start. So I here, put the lead behind me, put hold of the lead, I'm gonna throw the retrieve, slack lead, back. So I want the lead to be slack. I want him to be holding himself there under his own steam. Good boy, well done. Good boy. So I'm gonna do the same again. I'm gonna throw the retrieve out, slack lead, tug, slack, tug. And he just went before I was ready there, so tug, slack, back. Good. Complete slack in the lead there, which is what I want. So I'm actually going to do a standing one now. See how this goes. I've only done this a couple of times. Charlie, Charlie. Come on. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Back. So at the moment, now I want him to look at me before I'll send him. I want that nice eye contact from him. Some people don't like their dogs to take their eyes off the retrieve. But with me, I like the dog to check in with me. Good boy. We'll work on marking later. At the moment, everything is about timing and instruction, not about hunting and retrieve out. We'll do that in a separate video. So I'm going to stand up. Bring him around. 
can, we can, can. Just sit, sit. Ah, ah. I'm gonna move, man. Charlie, 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 sit. Back. He had lovely eye contact there. That is exactly what I want from him. Good boy. As I said, some people like their dogs never to take their eyes off the retriever. But at a novice level, I feel that gets you more into more trouble. The dog is more likely to run in on a retrieve later if it's not checking in with what you want. So I'm going to stand up. I'm using the retrieve here a little bit to keep him up with me because he was struggling a little bit with keeping up with me because he was so soft. Where because he's focused on the retrieve here, sit, sit. So he went there. I could just stop him with the retrieve. Back. Good boy. Well done. Good lad. Exactly what we wanted, wasn't it, Charlie? I'm using the retrieve to keep him moving. When I just walk him on the lead at the moment, he cow pats so quickly. So I've got him fixated on the retrieve, which works really well in his case. Good boy. Good boy. Charlie, Charlie. Good boy. So I'm using it as a tease. Good boy, Charlie. Sit. So I'm just going to gently lift him up. Gently lift him up. Back. Good boy, good boy. He'll get to realize that if he lies down, he doesn't get seventh for it. So it's in his interest to stand up. But the lead is just there for me to get the right position out of him. Good boy, you love this, don't you? Such a good boy, aren't you? Come on, Charlie. Come on. Charlie, Charlie. Good boy, come on. Come on. Charlie, 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 sit. Lovely, spot on. I'm going to throw the next one a bit further. Well done. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You make daddy happy. Good boy, well done. Okay, same again. Here we go. A little bit of heel work in between, which is helping me. Charlie, good boy. Come on, Charlie. Charlie. Sit. Back. Good boy, well done. Good boy, I'm not even going to let him run in on this next one. Good boy. That is not one of my dogs barking, by the way. We do not have barking or whining or yipping, do we, Charlie? No noise. You should be quiet. Good boy. Right, let's try it one more time. Come on. He's already a bit warm. You can see he's warm now. So when they get a bit too hot, the concentration's not good and they make mistakes. So it's very warm today, even though it's... Back. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. See, I'm only going down on one knee now, what I call the marriage proposal position. It's just quicker for me and up and it's just quicker for me and up and down. With an eight-week-old puppy or a ten-week-old puppy, they're probably not going to get up on you, but he's strong enough now to be able to do this. So let's go. Charlie sit. back. So I waited for him to look at me there. The second he looked at me, I said to him, ah, ah. so he realizes that's the trigger for him to go. If I always at first send him straight away, when he looks at me, he'll start looking at me quicker, which is obviously what I want. Charlie, 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 Charlie. Sit. Little tug first, slack lead, you see, back loads of eye contact straight away then I drew that eye contact out and made him hold my eye contact for a couple of seconds and clever right one more Charlie then I promise you're done you've done great for me good boy here sit sit back because he didn't look at me straight away that time that's why I sent him straight away. If he'd have looked at me straight away, I would have probably held his eye contact for a bit longer. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Well right. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this latest episode. There'll be another episode next week for you to watch. If you need any help and support, go through to my Facebook page, Hampshire Spaniel Training, where you can send me a message and I'll do my best to help you. Happy training. <laughs>